Hello, my name is Jan Bratpool and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I thought we'd experiment with some alcohol, some blends and some vellum with a range of various things that I've managed to find dotted around. I'll bring in everything that I've managed to find. I found a straw, a dobber I used to use for aromatherapy, a spritzer. In the spritzer I put some alcohol some water painters, I've got a dauber, I've got an old aqua painter, I've got an old paintbrush, and I've got my trusty old toothbrush. Alcohol. Alcohol has to be above 70%. Um, you can get 99. You can get I've got 99.9%. .9%. You can get 91%, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I had to go for the 99.9%, .9%, which works. But you can get 91 if you can find it. That apparently works as well. As all I've done is I've just poured it into a little tub because I'm renowned for making a mess and spilling things. So I've got my trusty little tub here. Um, when you're working with vellum, and blends light and dark make a difference so I thought I'd show you the two so lights I've chosen light daffodil delight light freesia and light copso coral and on the dark range I've chosen dark daffodil delight dark magenta madness and dark poppy parade so that's all we're going to do Using the brush tip, we're just going to mark some bits of the paper. Anywhere you want. Now, when I do this, making a, a project, I never go I, all the way to the edge because my ed, my piece of vellum will always be bigger than what I actually need so I can cut it down. So let's go in with some light here. Light Calypso Coral. Light Fresh Freesia. And light daffodil delight. That's all I've blending them. I'm going to bring in a piece of kitchen roll. So, what should we start with? Let's start with a dropper bottle. This is just literally a dropper bottle that our inks come in. They just literally drop. If you get the closer you get, the smaller you get. Also, another good tip is the more ink, the more alcohol you put on, the more your acetate is going to curl. You can actually dry it. With a heat gun if you if you've got one of the stamping up heat guns or if you've got any other heat gun that's got two settings you set in one not the heat but can you see how that's curling because i've got a lot of liquid on there i can actually dab it off and i'll show you if you dab it off like that where it's gone completely white again once that's dry just pop some blends on and go back in with your alcohol but that's a dropper so you don't have to sit there and watch me color all those i've got some i've prepared earlier so this is a dropper so 
which gives you a little bit more control. be brave and leave that open if you do have a lot of ink remember you can use your straw and blow remember you used to do that at school I can see well, that's a dropper some of these are going to be out of shot and I'm sorry I'll show you them all at the end once they're all dry against some white card A spritzer, which I can just spritz. It's like magic. I love it. I'm kind of addicted to this at the moment. It's a spritzer. Now you can use your, oh, I've got the old one here, or you can use the new water painters. But if you just dip it in, tap off the excess, you can use it just like your, um, your blender, your pens, where we tap it. You just tap it. You just tap it with your um, bone folder. One sneakily hiding underneath there. So that gives you all different. And you can go back in, you can go in closer. See that? That's the aqua pen. Um, now, what I found with the brushes, if you just literally dip the ends in and then dry it off a bit, I've used this before, and then just stipple it, try and dry as much as you can off. You should. Don't brush it, but just try to get the ends of the brush. But you have to keep rubbing it because of the, that's why you use an old paintbrush. You keep rubbing it because of the fact you're going to transfer your colours over and you don't want that either. And the lighter seems to work better for this. like sponge printing. And that gives a totally different look to it. Um, toothbrush, obviously not your good toothbrush, an old trusted toothbrush that you've got lying about. So all I do is I just pop it into the liquid, top off the excess and then fan it out with my fingers. You could try, I don't know if it would work or not. Step work. No. I think it works better if you just do it with your fingers. That's my favourite method. You notice you don't get an awful lot of alcohol in there. Or the dauber. Don't need enough lot of alcohol on this either.
and then keep tapping it out onto some kitchen roll so you're not transferring over the ink because you really want the yellow to stay yellow Now, I'm quite liking this method. Look. Like, that is quite a good coverage. And really, go and wash that out under some hot soapy water and you're good to go again. So let me pop the lid back on here before I spill it. So if I get a piece of white card, yeah. now what you can do as well is you can add our gold flakes to it. But what you would have to do is turn the card over to add the gold flakes to it. And you just literally get your glue pen, draw lines draw your image, draw whatever you want and add the good glue flakes that way but just remember to turn your, your vellum over but, and when you're pop popping it on your card turn it over so you want the reverse side so that was this was the paintbrush that didn't come out too bad but can you see the difference between the light and the dark all depends what you're looking for This was the dropper. My kind of rings come in. This was the other dropper. That's quite effective. This was the toothbrush. I don't know, it's a, it's a contest now. This was the aqua painter where I just banged it with my um, trusty old bone folder. This was the spritzer. Actually, I think I missed the top. Let's spritz some more on Come back to that because it's alcohol it dries fairly quickly and this was the dauber and also what what you can do you know, i just take that i've got the ice cream punch here because it's oh, vellum is cardstock vellum The ice cream punch you could make an ice cream i think i might make an ice cream card that would be a lovely flavor so that's various techniques that you could use i've stretched that too much now let's see if we can dry that off she's printing look at that can i get a print I think my favourite happens to be the dauber or the toothbrush effect. I think that's my favourite toothbrush or dauber effect now. What's yours? You can let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that was an interesting experiment. 
hope you find that as helpful. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.